We believe outdoor living should be a seamless extension of your home and a place for friends and family to create lifelong memories together. Join us as we share designer tips and tricks on how to transform your backyard into a place you absolutely love. Hey, welcome back to Behind the Design. My name is Joshua Gillow with uh, Master Plan Outdoor Living. And today, I'm gonna teach you how to create the perfect backyard with three simple principles. Principles we use every day here at Master Plan Outdoor Living that we can create amazing spaces that clients use and find the most comfort in. So, the first thing we have to be thinking about when you're laying out a space is we wanna be thinking of the furniture first. We don't wanna design a whole space, lay it out, and then go and get furniture and find that the space is too small or heck, too big, and now it doesn't fit. So what you spend all that time and money on building doesn't even work for you. So the first thing to think about is laying the furniture out first. I know that goes kind of backwards to how most people think, but in your design, as you're laying it out, think about the ideal furniture that you want. Then lay it out, set it where you think it would be best, most useful for you, and then build your patios and decks around that. Now you can guarantee that that space is gonna be big enough, but not too big, that fits all of those functions in there for you. The next thing I wanna talk about, the second thing is laying the space out. There are three zones that you must consider. The first zone is a space that you can grill. You can have a simple grill, that's a rollout grill, or you can have an entire outdoor kitchen like you see here. It doesn't matter, whatever your family needs in order to get outside and use the space when it comes to cooking. If you do big parties, more space. If you don't, it's okay, simple grill is fine. So a place to cook food. The second is gonna be a space to dine. You cook the food, now you can sit down and sit around your family, break bread, and enjoy time together. The third is gonna be a lounge space. That's a space that after you're done cooking, after you're done eating, you can sit back, tell stories, play cards, watch the fireplace, watch your favorite sporting game, whatever it might be. Those three zones are critical for an outdoor space to be used all the time. If you find that you're not using your outdoor living space much, ask, do you have those three zones well represented? And if you don't, maybe you add one of those zones. But if you're laying out a space and you have a nice, open, clean slate to work with, think about furniture first. Think about the three zones, grilling, dining, and lounging. You need all of those. The final one, this is one of the biggest ones. If you don't consider how you're going to get from inside to outside, how you're going to go from inside your house, the first floor level, into this outdoor living space, as smooth as possible, you're not going to use the space as much. And here's what I mean by that. If we step out of this door and walk down eight steps to the ground and then had a patio, what do you think the likelihood of this family utilizing this outdoor space would be if they had to always use eight steps to get up and down out of the house? It goes down. Over 30 years, we've watched this over and over and over again. The more we can bring the level of the outdoor living space up to the first level of the house, the more it gets used. Because I don't care if you're one years old or 101 years old, you can utilize the space. Nobody has to stay in the house while the party happens down at the bottom of the staircase. So first is furniture first. Make sure you're laying your furniture out before you actually have your floor plan of everything. Use it to create the floor plan for your outdoor space. Second, three zones. Make sure you got the three zones. So you have grilling, dining, and lounging, well allocated in the space. And the last is to make sure you have this beautiful seamless transition indoor to out. Those three things alone are gonna absolutely catapult your outdoor living space into a space you're gonna use more and more people are gonna come over and it's gonna be more conducive to daily comfortable use. So if you need any help with this, reach out to us. This is what we do every day. Mymasterplan.com is our website. Take a look. You'll see a lot of other examples of projects we've done just like this.